welcome back. So Sagittarius, this is going to be your reading for the week of May 13th. Um, not going to be for all of you, but if it does resonate, please do like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. I actually was shuffling the cards as the camera turned on, and they all flew out of the deck over here. So hold on for one second. And um, also, all of them came out at once. So it <laughs> should be a quick reading. So Sagittarius. Ooh, I heard fighting fire with fire. Okay, so uh, that was kind of a message in the last reading about caution, about fighting fire with fire, okay? And so I feel like a lot of you, you had already crossed that threshold either before you watched the reading and or impulsivity took over and you might have spoke harshly to someone or spoke without all the information or someone did this to you. Why do I say that? Because in the recent past energy, you have the Page of Swords, the Nine of Wands, and the Seven of Wands. So what happens when we do that? When we speak without thinking? Well, it puts people on the defensive, and I see that's what occurred here. You know, someone is most definitely angry or upset. This is all in the past energy. So I feel like this was last week, whether it was you doing it or them. But it was just like very defensive mode, very like... Shut the fuck up. <laughs> That's what came out of my mouth just now. Um, you know, just very like blunt, like, ugh, you know, like that type of vibe. This is what I was getting last week, and that's what I'm getting in the past energy. So I see that message here. Now coming into this week, you have the Five of Pentacles here, the Justice card, and the Six of Cups. So again, yeah, I feel like it definitely put somebody feeling, you know, on the outs, definitely. Someone put their walls up, felt a bit defensive. But then I do feel that that energy balance, it will be balancing out this week, you know, regaining your balance within whatever relationship this is, friendship, career, you name it. This could be any area of your life. Um, and why is that? It's because you have past history here. You know, you have a past history with this person okay um so it's almost like the karmic scales have balanced for some of you you know especially if this is a repeated pattern I just feel like Sagittarius this week you're most definitely going to be holding your own I see the complete opposite energy actually so towards the end of the week I think where you were maybe in a more impulsive energy in the past, I see you're totally switching that up. You may like stop communicating, period, so that you could focus more on your day-to-day, -day, your finances, your stability, you know, anything but this situation that always ends up making you feel guilty, making you feel trapped, making you feel bad you know, unstable. So, yeah, I, I just feel that um, that's how the things are going to balance out. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how you're trying to balance the situation out. You went all in, balls out in the past. <laughs> I don't know where these words are coming from. <laughs> and then this week, you're like, okay, time to chill down, chill it out chill out. Let's chill out this week. You know what I'm saying? And why don't I just keep some of my thoughts to myself this week? And that's how you're regaining your balance here. You know, let me focus on the things that are tangible, that I have impact on, you know, let me focus on my home, let me focus on my family, you know, and I feel like you're pretty resolute in the fact that that's how you want to handle it moving forward. Okay. Um, and like I said, this may not have been you. It could have been someone who was being, well, you know, basically ugly, ugly towards you really in the past. And your response to them might have been to just cut communication or, you know, leave them out. And in a way that kind of balanced things out for you so that you were able to then refocus your energy into areas of your life that are, you know, 
I, I want to say more important to you so bad and I don't know why but I, that's what I heard so <laughs> let me see the six of cups for you what's that oh my gosh yes you have a past history of competing with this person it's like a very competitive type nature you know, and it's like, I don't want to participate in that anymore. I just want to be me. I want to focus on me, focus on my own thing, do my own thing. It's like, I'm not, there's not a comp, it's not a competition. You know? <laughs> I got justice again. Yeah. <clears throat> so... Sagittarius, it's, you know, it's, it's really actually an overall message about putting your energy where it means the most. And a lot of times we give our energy and our emotions and our effort to people that um, make us feel lack, that don't deserve it, that don't invest in us, you know, and, um, or make you feel less than, you know, maybe there's someone in your life that makes you feel like, you always have to compete or that, you know, it, you, if not compete, and I keep hearing that word, if not that, then they make you feel like you're not good enough almost. And there is a message here about, you know, this is a past issue. This is a cyclic issue in your life where it needs to be balanced out by remembering that um, everybody's on their own path, okay? And so it doesn't really matter what this person is doing or this person is up to. It matters what you're doing. And then also, are you happy with what you're doing and where you're at? And I see just like a deep contemplation about this, okay? But like I said, I also see taking a break from the bowl you know, <laughs> taking a break from that type of energy. If you've been dealing with that, I feel like you've cut it out of your life. Cut this person out, this situation, career, whatever this is for you. You know, because you wanted to feel more in control. And this week, I see you feeling more in control. But, you know, there might be someone here that's trying to get into your head. That has the ability to make you feel unstable. Some of you are actually worried about someone. You're worried about someone communicating something. That would cause instability for you or more work for you. That's a side note. I don't even know where that's coming from. But I guess the message then is there's no amount. Like you're a lot stronger than you think you are. Yeah. So there's a caution here about slipping back and entertaining this again, you know. Um, and if you do pull it in, I feel like you... It's because you've allowed it to get into your head. And so how do you get out of that head space? Well, spend time alone. You know, spend time uh, around people that are more supportive or equal to you. Put your energy and your focus into things that bring about comfort. Um, those are good ways to tune this energy out. But I feel like someone's here still in the future energy. It's the same person you've been having issues with. Remember I said the history repeats, history repeats. And it's like you're anticipating it. So because you're anticipating this person or this, whatever this is for you, coming back around and causing instability, it puts you in a very tense, it's like an icky feeling. It's a very stress feeling, a very stressful feeling. And so the message is here, you know, don't allow that. Don't allow them to affect your energy like that. You know, they can only affect you as much as you let them, right? 
So Sagittarius, uh, zodiac signs you might be dealing with, or this could be your energy, but I'll tell you what I see. I have Scorpio, I have Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and Libra again, and Aries as the predominant signs that are out. But just keep in mind, it could be any zodiac sign that is a general read. But I wish you all the very best either way. And until next time, I love you. Namaste. Goodbye.